Say hello. Hello. What are you eating for lunch? Um, I'm eating pizza and the team will drink to the scumbo and yay. Say hello. Hello. You need to be sitting at the table while you eat. Why is it that kids love to take one bite of food and then jump immediately onto the couch? So then our couch always had food stains on it. Avery Bryn. Avery's been a little grumpy lately. She's going through a mental leap and it's leaving her a little grumpy. Avery Bryn. So last night, Anthony and I did some wrapping. There's some Secret Santa gifts in here. Anthony has a Secret Santa gift exchange with his friends. We have it with some of my siblings. We wrap presents for his brother and his mom. And then this little one is for our godchild, Ivy. We're gonna get her some Christmas gifts. It was actually pretty fun last night. Anthony put on like Christmas lo-fi music on our Amazon Alexa which you should try that if you ever want like Christmas music, but you're kind of tired of like the lyrics and the same songs you hear over and over again. It's the same songs, but just a different version of it was awesome. Anthony made us drinks and we just rapped last night. So it was actually really fun. I was asking Anthony, like, does this count as a date night? And he was like, no, <laughs> but it was fun because we were bored and didn't know what to do. I've actually been watching that squid game reality show competition that they made on netflix and it's actually pretty good it got renewed for a second season it's kind of like the original series but they changed it up so you kind of don't know what's going to happen next and i like that that's the way we movies now in netflix yep this morning this morning we watched the super mario movie on netflix because they just put it on netflix usually on the weekends i let the boys watch like a movie in the morning um because usually we're like trying to get ready for school and doing all that but on the weekends it's a little slower pace so we did that this morning and later today we are gonna go and celebrate my sister's birthday her birthday's actually tomorrow but tomorrow's monday a work day so we can't all get together so we're gonna celebrate today the day before and the boys are so excited i'm so excited to celebrate her my siblings and i bought her a few gifts so we're gonna give those to her and we're gonna meet at a restaurant and have some yummy food so we're excited for that today okay avery was kind of grumpy so i just picked her up um i'm trying to think what else is new with us it's not too much like grayson said there's 15 more days till christmas today's december 10th so we're getting closer and closer to that day the boys have been doing their advent calendars um every day and they're loving it we've been getting lots of books as i've said and doing our countdowns our elf has been causing some mischief all around our house um but today i'll show you where he is it looks like last night he got into the boys um magnetile toys and kind of created himself a castle so that's where he is today what do you think of that elf News on Avery, we have an appointment tomorrow for her helmet and they are gonna take pictures one last time. And I think we're gonna get measurements for a new helmet. Um, they kind of told us that she's right on the edge, but I'm pretty sure she, they're gonna tell us that she needs one. So she's gonna get her, if they do say yes, then she's gonna get her helmet um, in like 10 days on the 21st, so. That is coming up. She's grumpy. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong with her. I think she's getting tired. So anyway, I'll just pull out the camera here and there. But yeah, it's just kind of a slow, easy weekend for us. How many we would have? 26. Uh, Gramps, I need a stronger knife. I need a stronger knife than they gave us. My favorite movie. I will have one my elf fourth extra high 
to get you every figure well, yeah, on your yeah. list. P.S. Please don't forget to read the carrots for my reindeer. <gasps> oh my goodness. Santa Claus. <gasps> he wants us to put out carrots on Christmas Eve so his reindeer will have food to eat. Look. And what does yours say, Porter? It says... The same as it says, Dear Porter, you are definitely on the nice list this year. <gasps> it says, Thank you for the stickers you used to mail your letter. My elves are working hard to make sure everyone gets what they want on their list. P.S. I would love some milk and cookies. And don't forget Rick Carrots for my reindeer. They get hungry pulling my sleigh. <gasps> Oh my goodness! Yeah. No, 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 not that way. Twist. 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 Backwards. Uh, yeah, like that. No, no, no. Uh, no. You gotta twist it sideways because look. Here, let me see. Can I see it? I'll do it. Yep, put it just like that. <laughs> I don't oh, want Yep, we gotta turn it around head. a little. Turn it. Just turn it like this. Put it in like that. Just like that. Perfect. Grayson is helping Porter put this puzzle together and it's so cute. You guys are so cute. Look. <laughs> and here's little Avery. Hi, Avery. You did it. Unfortunately, I think she's getting yet another cold. She, I swear she just got over one and now she's drool. She's got snot everywhere. And see, that's no fun, huh? And she's coughing and she just said, girl, huh? But Avery has no helmet, as you can see. So we went to our helmet appointment today. I took Avery. Yeah. Anthony watched the kids for me, which was super helpful. And oh, oh now she's going to be grumpy because I'm talking. Basically, they took pictures and said that she needs a second helmet. So we went ahead and paid for it. And in 10 days, we go back and we'll get helmet number two. So it was disappointing. I was hopeful that they would be like... Her head has fixed itself. It's magically perfect. But no, they said instead of severe, her head is now moderate, which is better. But unfortunately, she just needs a little more time in the helmet. <clears throat> so we'll go back in 10 days and continue that journey. <gasps> we just completed it. Yay, Porter. Terrific. Great job, Porter. Wow. Which animal is your favorite? Oh, the tractor is your favorite animal? Makes sense. What about you, Gray? The horse Oh, wow. But we got to get ready because Gray's got swim. We got to leave in 10 minutes. My animal is the biggest one. Oh, the biggest one. The, the horse, yeah. And the cat. And the cat? Yeah, and the oh. tractor. Tractor, too. And even this full. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, I'm coming at you from a quiet house except for little Avery here. Say hi, Avery. He's having some milk, huh? But I feel like the couple clips I took yesterday were kind of chaotic, so I just wanted to explain it a little bit. I don't even really remember what all I recorded. Basically, the big thing yesterday was we got letters from Santa in the mail. So our mailman actually put a newsletter in our mailbox, and he did this last year, um, I remember. And he basically said that if your kids want to write letters to Santa um, to put letters in the mailbox, and then he would have Santa return letters to them as long as they were early enough in the season. So I had the kids write some letters to Santa of what they wanted for Christmas. 
Um, I think I've already told you guys what they want. Grayson wants um, Legos and Minecraft. And he said a big toy that he can play with. I'm not really sure what that counts as. but And then Porter wants Spider-Man and Play-Doh and Minecraft, he says. So we wrote those to Santa. And then um, it took about... 10 days and then Santa finally got back to the kids and wrote them letters and the kids loved it. Grayson was able to read his because he's reading so his said like you know thank you for your letter uh, make sure to leave um, carrots out for my reindeer and then on Porter's it was like Porter you're definitely on the nice list make sure to leave me milk and cookies like it was really cute and it like the letter said from the desk of Santa Claus and the kids loved it. So that was super fun. Gray also had his last swim lesson last night. And so um, I took like a quick little clip of that. They break for Christmas. I might sign him up again in January. He still has a lot to work on. <laughs> like he does okay, but he is not swimming on his own, which is obviously what I want to get him to. So I might sign him up for that again. We just do it at our local rec center and the classes are so cheap that it's worth doing. And Grayson loves it. And eventually I need to put Porter in classes. I'm just not sure I want to tackle that yet. Anyway. And then on top of all that, I talked a little bit about it, but we took Avery for her next um, helmet appointment. And this was the one where we were going to get pictures taken so that she could get a second helmet. But the technician did tell me, like, come in. Don't pay right off the bat. Let's take updated pictures because she'd been wearing her helmet for the past two weeks. So she was like, let's take pictures. Let's double, triple check that she does truly need a second helmet because she's like right on that edge in between like being fine but then also needing some work so we did we went in it was actually a whole drama trying to get this appointment I we had to wait forever for them to contact our insurance to see if insurance would cover the helmet a second time which they are up to a certain amount we still have to pay like four hundred dollars for it just like the first time. And then finally they contacted me saying that insurance would cover some of it. And then when we went to go schedule with our local office, the main scheduler was like, oh, they only have one appointment available for the whole month of December and it's the 19th, which I was like, okay, I can make the 19th work. But the problem is, is after you get the pictures of the helmet, you then have to wait 10 to 14 days to get the actual helmet to come in and it has to be like within that time frame otherwise her head grows so much that like the helmet won't fit anymore so the 19th was fine but by the time they wanted us to come back we would have been in miami and so it was this whole drama because basically if we didn't get this these helmet appointments in in the month of December, once January 1st rolls around, our insurance renews, as everyone does, and we wouldn't hit our deductible anymore. And so instead of paying $400 for a helmet, we would have to pay $2,100 for a helmet. And we were not about to pay all that for a helmet that she maybe needs, maybe doesn't need. So we frantically were calling around. I actually ended up scheduling an appointment to go to the Cincinnati office. They have offices all around. Um, the day one is closer, but the day one didn't have any appointments. So I scheduled for Cincinnati, which is two hours one way. And But I was going to do it to, to like make sure it all worked out and to get it in because it was that important. And then the day that I was supposed to drive all the way to Cincinnati and back, Anthony actually like went and took PTO off of work and it was just this whole drama. We decided to call one more time just to see if there would be an opening. And the person we got on the phone was like, oh, why don't you just call the Columbus office? So we did and they were like, oh yeah, we could get you in on Monday. Okay, so I had them cancel the Cincinnati office appointments, and then we were able to go yesterday, which was Monday. They took the pictures. They found, yes, she does still need a second helmet. Instead of being severe with her plagiocephaly, she is now moderate. So it's improving, but she still has a dent um, and a little bit of flatness in the back, which is causing her ears to be shifted, which means one ear is further forward than the other ear. So they said there's still more work to go. 
They are quoting us to only have to wear it four to six weeks. I'm hoping that is the case. And so then she would only have to wear this helmet to mid-February, but... I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. So we got the pictures taken. All is well. It was just like the first time they put like a sock net over her face, took a bunch of pictures, and then they sent those images off so that they could create the helmet. And then we're going to go back. Well, it was 10 days from yesterday, nine days from today. And we will get fitted for that helmet. And then it will start. It's um, December 21st is when we go back. Okay, sorry. My um, phone cut off on me. Right now, Avery is helmet free for 10 days. Hopefully her not having a helmet for 10 days and then going back to the helmet for an extended period of time isn't a hard transition for her. She kind of had a hard time getting used to the helmet the first couple days, so we might have a rough transition again. And they say each helmet is different, so hopefully we don't have any problems with this one because the first helmet we really didn't have any issues with at all. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm glad that we got in got it all figured out and we're getting it done and then hopefully hopefully she'll be done about mid-february i'm hoping as long as she doesn't have it by her first birthday i think i'll be happy but anyway that's about it on the helmet thing i'll update you once we get her second helmet and show you how that looks it'll be interesting to compare the two helmets and see if they look different or the same unfortunately avery has a cold um this is her second cold that she's gotten so she's kind of cranky and she's not been taking very good naps today but today my parents are coming over my dad always gives my boys haircuts he's free and they're comfortable with him so it works out um and he has just like a little hair shaving kit that he has so they're gonna come and give the boys haircuts porter not so much but grayson is in desperate need for haircuts we're gonna do that and then actually my sister allison and my sister-in-law ellie are coming over and they're bringing their kids because my mom got all three babies matching my first christmas outfits they all have like the same onesie and then she got the girls little black tutus with a bow on top so we're gonna do a little photo shoot my sister says she has like an empty diaper box and she's gonna like wrap it in red wrapping paper and we're gonna do a photo shoot with it i guess yeah that should be fun and so if i remember i will bring out the camera and show you guys that little photo shoot but should be something fun to do it's always nice when we have something to do in the afternoons otherwise they just kind of are long especially with how it gets dark at like 4 four thirty nowadays it's just it makes really long afternoon and evenings with the kids so I'm excited for all that